What is a quantitative research? Quantitative research is expressed in graphs and numbers. It is used to confirm or test theories and assumptions. This type of research can be used to establish generalizable facts about a topic. Some of the common quantitative methods include experiments, surveys with close-ended questions and observations recorded as numbers. Qualitative research is exploratory research. It is expressed in words. It is used to understand experiences or concepts. This type of research enables you to get the in-depth insights on topics that are not well understood. Some of the common qualitative methods include interviews with observation, described in words, open-ended questions, and literature review that explore concepts and theories. Difference between quantitative research and qualitative research. Quantitative research uses statistics. On the other hand, qualitative research uses observations and description. Quantitative research is considered to be objective. On the other hand, qualitative research is considered to be subjective. In quantitative research, data can be measured. In qualitative research, data can be observed, not measured. In quantitative research, sample population is large. On the other hand, in qualitative research, sample population is small. In quantitative research, data collection methods are highly structured. On the other hand, in qualitative research, data collection methods are semi-structured or unstructured. Most important questions. Whether to use qualitative or quantitative research. You must use quantitative research when you want to test or confirm something. For example, hypothesis or theory. You must use qualitative research when you want to understand something. For example, concepts, thoughts or experiences. How to analyze quantitative data? Quantitative data is based on numbers. Simple math or more advanced statistical analysis is used to discover commonalities or patterns in the data. The results are often reported in graphs and tables. Applications such as Excel, SPSS or R can be used to calculate things like the reliability and validity of the results, the correlation or causation between two or more variables, average scores. How to analyze qualitative data? Qualitative data is more difficult to analyze than quantitative data. It consists of text, images or videos instead of numbers. Some common approaches to analyzing qualitative data include qualitative content analysis. It is used to track the occurrence, position and meaning of words or phrases. Thematic analysis. It is used to closely examine the data to identify the main themes and patterns. Discourse analysis. It is used to study how communication works in social contexts. What is quantitative research? Quantitative research is defined as a systematic investigation of phenomena by gathering quantifiable data and performing statistical, mathematical or computational techniques. Quantitative research collects information from existing and potential customers using sampling methods and sending out online surveys, online pools, questionnaires, the result of which can be depicted in the form of numerical. Example of quantitative research an example of quantitative research is a survey conducted to understand the amount of time a doctor takes to tend to a patient. When the patient walks into the hospital, a patient satisfaction survey template can be administered to ask questions like how much time did a doctor take to see a patient, how often does a patient walk into a hospital, and other such questions. Characteristics of quantitative research Structured tools. Structured tools such as surveys, pools, or questionnaires are used to gather quantitative data. Using such structured methods helps in collecting in-depth and actionable data from the survey respondents. Sample size. Quantitative research is conducted on a significant sample size that represents the target market. Appropriate sampling methods have to be used when driving the sample to fortify the research objective. Close-ended questions. Close-ended questions are created as per the objective of the research. These questions help collect quantitative data and hence are extensively used in quantitative research. Prior studies. Various factors related to the research topics are studied before collecting feedback from respondents. Quantitative data. 
Usually, quantitative data is represented by tables, charts, graphs, or any other non-numerical form. This makes it easy to understand the data that has been collected as well as prove the validity of the market research. Generalization of results. Results of this research method can be generalized to an entire population to take appropriate action for improvement. Pros of quantitative research. Collect reliable and accurate data. As data is collected, analyzed and presented in numbers, the results obtained will be extremely reliable. Number do not lie. They offer an honest picture of the conducted research without discrepancies and is also extremely accurate. Quick data collection. Quantitative research is carried out with a group of respondents who represents a population. A survey or any other quantitative research method applied to these respondents and the involvement of statistics conducting and analyzing results is quite straightforward and less time consuming. Wider scope of data analysis. Due to the statistics, this research method provides a wide scope of data collection. Eliminate bias. This research method offers no score for personal comments or biasing of results. The results achieved are numerical and thus fair in most cases. Cons of quantitative research might not tell the whole story. The variables you collect through quantitative method can be superficial or limited. For example, asking people how much coffee they drink doesn't tell you very much. It can also be the case that other factors you are serving affect the response people give. Sample sizes can be small. Small sample sizes can limit the impact research has. For example, asking 10 people about their coffee drinking habits will not give you a good idea of how coffee consumption plays out across the country. Data can be over manipulated. It's possible for the setting of a research study to be manipulated and controlled to such an extent that it affects the accuracy of the result or for a range of other unaccounted for variables to affect the study. Definition of qualitative research. Qualitative research is defined as a market research method that focuses on obtaining data through open-ended and conversational communication. This method is not only about what people think, but also why they think so. Qualitative research methods are designed in a manner that help reveal the behavior and perception of a target audience with reference to a particular topic. Example of qualitative research. For example, consider a convenience store looking to improve its patronage a systematic observation concludes that the number of men visiting this store are more. One good method to determine why women were not visiting the store is to conduct an in-depth interview of potential customers in the category. For example, on successfully interviewing female customers visiting the nearby stores and malls and selecting them through random sampling, it was known that the store doesn't have enough items for women and so there were fewer women visiting the store which was understood only by personally interacting with them and understanding why they didn't visit the store, because there were more male products than female ones. Types of qualitative research methods. There are different types of qualitative research methods like an in-depth interview, focus groups, ethnographic research, content analysis, case study research that are usually used. One-on-one -on -one interview. It is a personal interview that is carried out with one respondent at a time. This is purely a conversational method and invites opportunities to get detail in depth from the respondent. Focus group. A focus group usually includes a limited number of respondents 6 to 10 from within your target market. The main aim of the focus group is to find answer to the why, what and how questions. Ethnographic research. This research designs aims to understand the cultures, challenges, motivations, and settings that occur. Instead of relying on interview and discussion, you experience national settings firsthand. Case study research. It involves a deep dive and thorough understanding of the data collection method and inferring the data. When to use qualitative research. Researchers make use of qualitative research techniques when they need to capture accurate, in depth insights. It is very useful to capture factual data. Here are some examples of when to use qualitative research. Developing a new product or generating an idea. Studying your product, brand or service to strengthen your marketing strategy. To understand your strengths and weaknesses. Understanding the purchase behavior. To study the reaction of your audience to marketing campaigns and other communications. Exploring market demographic segments and customer groups. Gathering perception data of a brand, company or product. 
What is qualitative data analysis? Qualitative data analysis involves making sense of massive amounts of data by deducing the amount of raw information followed by distinctive important patterns and eventually drawing meaningful knowledge and later building a logical pattern. Types of qualitative data analysis 1. Content analysis 2. Thematic analysis 3. Grounded analysis 4. Discourse analysis 5. Narrative analysis 6. Phenomenological analysis Let's study them in detail. Definition of Content Analysis Content analysis is used to describe and categorize common words, phrases, and ideas in qualitative data. It is used to reveal patterns in communication content. Example of Content Analysis a market researcher could perform content analysis to find out what kind of language is used in description of therapeutic apps. Definition of thematic analysis Thematic analysis is used to identify and interpret patterns and themes in qualitative data. It is usually applied to a set of texts such as interview transcripts. The researcher closely examines the data to identify common themes such as topics, ideas, and patterns of meaning that come up repeatedly. Example of thematic analysis A psychologist could apply thematic analysis to travel blocks to explore how tourism shapes self-identity. Definition of Grounded Analysis Grounded theory is powerful qualitative analysis method. This method of qualitative data analysis starts with an analysis of a single case to formulate a theory. Then additional cases are examined to see if they contribute to the theory. Example of grounded analysis You could try to develop a theory about what factors influence students to watch a YouTube video about qualitative analysis. Definition of discourse analysis Discourse analysis is all about analyzing language within its social context. In other words, analyzing language such as a conversation, a speech, within the culture and society it takes place in. Example of discourse analysis you could analyze how a janitor speaks to a CEO or how politicians speak about terrorism. Definition of Narrative Analysis This method involves the reformulation of stories presented by respondents taking into account context of each case and different experiences of each respondent. In other words, Narrative analysis is all about listening to people telling stories and analyzing what that means. Since stories serve a functional purpose of helping us make sense of the world, we can gain insights into the ways that people deal with and make sense of reality by analyzing their stories and the ways they are told. Example of Narrative Analysis Analyzing the ways entrepreneurs talk about the struggles in their careers or cancer patients telling stories of hope. These could provide powerful insights into their mindset and perspectives. In other words, Narrative Analysis is about paying attention to the stories that people tell and more importantly the way they tell them. Definition of Phenomenological Analysis Phenomenological analysis is designed to help you understand the personal experiences of a subject, for example, a person or a group of people, concerning a major life event, an experience or a situation. This event or experience is the phenomenon. So, phenomenological analysis is a great choice if your research involves Analyzing people's personal experiences of something that happened to them.
the difference between qualitative and quantitative research. First, let's learn about the definition. Qualitative research is a method of inquiry that develops an understanding on human and social sciences to find the way people think and feel. Whereas, quantitative research is a research method that is used to generate numerical data and hard facts by employing statistical, logical and mathematical techniques. Approach Qualitative research follows a subjective approach as the researcher is intimately involved, while the approach of quantitative research is objective as a researcher is uninvolved and attempts to precise the observation and analysis on the topic to answer the inquiry. Nature Qualitative research is holistic in nature, whereas quantitative research is particularistic. Research type Qualitative research is exploratory. On the other hand, quantitative research is conclusive. Sampling Qualitative research is based on purposive sampling where a small sample size is selected with a view to get a thorough understanding of the target concept. Whereas quantitative research relies on random sampling wherein a large representative sample is chosen in order to explore the results to the whole population. Reasoning. The reasoning used to synthesize data in qualitative research is inductive, while in the case of quantitative research, the reasoning is deductive. Inquiry. In qualitative research, the inquiry is process-oriented, whereas in quantitative research, the inquiry is result-oriented. Data. In qualitative research, verbal data are collected while in quantitative research measurable data is gathered hypothesis in qualitative research the hypothesis is generated whereas in quantitative research the hypothesis is tested objective qualitative research is conducted with the aim of exploring and discovering ideas used in the ongoing processes while in quantitative research the purpose is to examine cause and effect relationship between variables. Elements of analysis Elements used in the analysis of qualitative research are words, pictures and objects, whereas elements of analysis used in quantitative research are numerical data. Methods the methods used in qualitative research are in-depth interviews, focus groups, etc. In contrast, the method of conducting quantitative research are structured interviews and observations. Results Qualitative research develops the initial understanding, whereas quantitative research recommends a final course of action.